Hi there and welcome back to my YouTube channel, hope that you're doing well. If this is your first time on my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Mirko and I post mostly about men's fashion, lifestyle and grooming. If you're not yet subscribed, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because it does really help me grow and when someone subscribes, I just love them so much. So today's video is about Amazon purchases. As we all know, the 2020 has been uh, a bit different. So I kind of did shop a lot on Amazon, uh, a lot more than what I usually do. And I kind of realized that uh, some of the items that I bought there I really liked. I found that uh, when you buy something on Amazon, it does look good online, but when the item arrives, it's not as good. So that's why I kind of decided to give you my opinion on a couple of items uh, that I really like from there and kind of recommend them uh, from my kind of use in the last year. So there's 10 items, I think, and I'm going to kind of go through them and explain you a little bit about them and what I think about them. Uh, and also I'm gonna link all the items below if you wanted to check them out Hopefully they are still available because as I said, I all bought them uh, last year So without further ado, let's start with the first item Which is this uh, kind of uh, alarm light uh, from Philips It's called Philips Hue Light And maybe you've seen this on my vlogs before or kind of, I don't know uh, Maybe I talked about this in, a few, in the past But essentially this is a light that wakes you up so you uh, uh, select the time where you, uh, what time do you want to wake up and this will gradually wake you up with the light. It, by the time that you want to wake up, for example, let's say 6 o'clock, it's going to be really, really bright light that is going to like wake you up. It's also, uh, it can, you can set this uh, when you want to go to bed. For example, you can uh, slowly uh, fell asleep or uh, slowly wake up so that's the whole purpose of this and I bought this about uh, three or four months ago when uh, we had kind of start of autumn because here in England for most of the winter when I wake up it's actually still dark outside so this really helps and it kind of gets me the feeling that it's still kind of uh, bright outside and it kind of really helps me with my sleep so I would definitely recommend this there are a couple of uh, manufacturers of this uh, there is this one there is Lumi, which is really popular as well. I opted out for this one just because I kind of read the reviews and I found that this one is something that I was kind of looking for. The next item is something that uh, I actually bought on the Black Friday offers from Amazon. So is this here? It's not a laptop, it's just a case for laptop. So I think that I believe that this will fit some other laptops as well, but I specifically bought this one for the 16 inch MacBook Pro. So this is the case that is so slim and it's so protective actually. Comparing how much slim this is, uh, it's super protective. So you can just pop your laptop in here and it has a magnetic closure. So it's super easy to use. You can, if you're traveling, you can just pop this into another bag or like kind of have your laptop with you all the time and not kind of worry about the damages or scratches. And also what I find with the expensive items is that once they are kind of protected like this, they might be also be kind of protected from uh, being stolen I think I at least I hope I haven't tested this for traveling because obviously I didn't go anywhere yet but I think that this is going to be really helpful uh, in kind of upcoming uh, months so definitely something that uh, I didn't really see online before and when I saw the kind of offers for Black Friday I decided to give it a go for that as well the next item is something that I bought uh, during the summer so is this here i don't know if you saw this before but this is the item that i found on amazon and only i kind of i searched for this because we really struggled in the house with the flies and they were everywhere especially kind of in the kitchen so what you do with this is that you just charge it and then essentially you kind of electroshoot the uh, uh, flies is that how it's called but essentially you literally you just press the button and you go near the fly and you can kill them with that. So I think it's probably not the most kind of ethical, I would say, but it does really help. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not someone that likes flies, so if you wanna get rid of them, this is something that you should uh, give it a go. It's, it's not definitely something that uh, you kind of, I don't know, you don't wanna keep this around the children, I would say, but for example, if you, I don't know, if you're an adult that lives by itself or if something if you're living in a house that has lots of flies it depends where you live for example but this house here has lots of flies especially in the last year during the summer so I really needed this 
and it's really useful. It literally, you just press the button, you go near the fly and you kill it. So it's not the most uh, ethical thing, but it definitely helps. And I think it's much better than one of those like kind of poisons that you kind of try to kill them with, you know, kind of those sprays that you is a poison. So this is definitely something that is a bit better, I think also for your health and also everyone, if you have pets, it's also, I don't think that the, the kind of the poisons are as good. So this is something that you should definitely try. The next item that I bought last year is definitely a 2020 purchase. It's a yoga mat, this one here. It's uh, definitely something that I needed last year, but I actually bought it just by the end of the year and only because they've closed the gym for about third or fourth time. So I kind of realized that uh, the home kind of workouts are the only option uh, now. So I bought this. It's not a really an expensive yoga mat because I didn't really want to invest a lot of money into kind of home equipment. So this one was probably about 15 or 20 pounds and it's actually massive. I didn't think that it's going to be that big when I uh, kind of saw it online, but it's actually massive. It's probably kind of the length of my body, like probably about 190, I would say, long, and it's probably as wide as, I don't know, like this. So it's not as thick, I would say. It's not the ones that are kind of super thick and super comfy, but this one is definitely a good kind of option, an expensive option that is really kind of helping uh, me with the home workouts. And I would definitely kind of recommend this one for, if you wanted to go for something that is kind of a temporary, uh, yoga mat because I the ones that I saw on Amazon and kind of on the other website they were like 100 pounds and, and above. The next thing is something that I used when I was back in the gym and it's this here. It's kind of a thing that you put on top of your rack. It's kind of a bar in the gym. Is that what it's called? But essentially you kind of open this and you use this on the, on the bars in the in the gym or if you have bars at home as well. So you put this as a kind of a protective soft uh, thingy over the bar and uh, it's really soft and it's actually super uh, easy to use and super, I just kind of wag this in my either a gym bag or kind of in the car and I just kind of take it with me into my gym. I mean there are kind of similar uh, things to this in my gym where I go to but they're always kind of uh, lost or kind of dirty or kind of used by someone and obviously you don't want to use uh, kind of used kind of uh, dirty items when there is a global pandemic so I kind of tried and searched on Amazon to find something that is going to be uh, close enough and this is definitely proved really good. I used this for as long as I could when gym was open and it's really good because whenever I do kind of squats or something like that in the gym I always have the kind of scratches on my neck from the bar in the gym and I just hated that so I, that's why I kind of searched for this and it's actually really good so it's also not really expensive it's probably about i don't know i don't really remember but it's probably about 10 pounds or maybe just about 10 pounds so just something that is really kind of useful to have and you can always kind of take it with you in any gym that you go to the next amazon find that i was really happy with is this uh, uh anchor uh kind of uh, card reader it's for the macbook because obviously on the macbook pro or i don't know if on other macbooks but there isn't like a plug for uh kind of sd cards uh and i was actually shocked to find this when i bought my macbook so that's why uh, i needed this and it's kind of a usb-c uh, reader and you can pop the micro sd and the normal sized sd and it's super good because it's not massive i don't like the ones that apple makes with the cable and then you have the reader this is a perfect reader for me because I can just pop this into the MacBook and the card as well. This is a really good find and also probably about five pounds I would say. So a really nice find and it's actually really elegant I would say. I don't like the ones with cable that uh, kind of Apple makes so that's why I went with the Anchor one. The next find is this uh, cup from a brand that is called I think Kambuka. This is what it looks like and this is the logo of the brand so this has been proven to be so good and I actually I'm looking at it now because there are so many scratches I bought this about six months ago and it proved to be so so useful and I used it all the time literally it's uh, kind of a cup that also uh, keeps the drinks warm or cold it doesn't matter so this proved really useful when all the kind of coffee shops were closed and you can just make your own coffee and if you go outside 
you can just have a warm coffee throughout the day and it keeps the coffee uh, warm for at least a couple of hours I would say so you can probably use this with the tea as well coffee I used it for hot chocolate as well the other day so it's really useful and during the kind of summer or if you are someone that likes kind of cold drinks you can probably make a colder drink as well and keep it in this as well there's also a larger version as well in different colors it's super inexpensive and you should definitely kind of check it out uh, I think that uh, this one was probably about 10 pounds and uh, it's one of those things that once you buy it you don't have to use the single-use cups anymore so it's also really eco-friendly but also really useful and a kind of a good quality the next brand uh, is not just a single item but it's just a brand so it's the kind of uh, vitamins called Solger or not just the vitamins but also kind of the, the supplements so uh, I have a couple of uh, supplements from them so the first one is uh, multivitamins this one here I have fiber this one here and I have also which I believe is the probiotic so I have three uh, bottles of different supplements from the Solger and I tried so many supplements in the past I tried most of the ones that you can find in Tesco, most of the ones that you can buy on the kind of the pharmacies and none of them was as good as this one. I remember when I tried the different supplements, it was also a multivitamin from the one of the brands that uh, is available in the most supermarkets. I'm not gonna name them but I remember trying those multivitamins and after two or three days I had like itches all over my hands and it was horrible. It Literally I had like a red spots from uh, that multivitamin and I've been taking this multivitamin for about a year now and it's literally the best brand that there is out there it is a little bit more expensive but this multivitamin has proved the best out there it's vegan and it's something that you can drink uh, throughout the day you, you don't have to be ill to take multivitamins and I think that is recommended to take up to two of these I normally take about one of them because that's how Kind of I feel it's natural to me but I would definitely give them a go Solger I only found on Amazon I tried to find them in the shops and I couldn't they were available in Holland and Barrett before but in my local Holland and Barrett I can't find them anymore so I kind of buy all their products on Amazon now and they're literally the best quality of the supplements that there is out there and I'm at the point where I don't even try any other supplements at the moment so uh, I have two more items, one of them is going to look really weird uh, and it's something that is a kind of a kitchen hack or kind of a kitchen item. So it's this here, this is what it looks like. Uh, I, this is as essentially a pan holder, a kind of a kitchen uh, or a pan uh, lid uh, holder, this is what it is. So essentially you uh, kind of pop this on your door, on the kind of kitchen cabinet door inside and then you just pop the the lid on top on, onto this so this is what it looks like you can uh, i think put uh, up to kind of three uh, lids depending on the size obviously of the lid and in my kitchen i have two of these so i'm kind of able to put up to six uh, lids and this is kind of really nice way to save some space in the kitchen and also it's really useful to have uh, kind of lids uh, near so you can always kind of just open the door and you can just take the uh, kind of lid uh, easily so it's really something that is useful and I just love those little things that kind of uh, save space in the kind of around your home so this this is definitely something that I can recommend and I'm kind of I'm trying to find something similar for spices and I never kind of I never found something similar on Amazon that is as good as this for spices so if you have any recommendation for spices let me know because everything that I find is either ugly or it's made of plastic or something like that so yeah this is my little kitchen hack and I'm gonna link that one below as well uh, the last thing is actually a charger from uh, the same brand uh, that that plug is so it's the anchor this one right here so essentially what this is this isn't uh, the uh, power bank this is meant to be charged in power and then it has actually a cable it's just upstairs so you uh, put the the cable here and uh, what it comes out is the four usbs and one usb-c so this is what it looks like and essentially what this does is that it just uh, charges your devices more fast so for example if you charge your phone over this usb 
is going to be faster than if you use the normal Apple, for example, charger or Android uh, charger, it doesn't matter. It's really useful and it's actually, I think it goes up to, uh, I don't actually know, I tried to find the information on how much is the voltage, but I'm not really sure. So <laughs> we're just going to go with that. But it's really useful. I actually bought this about maybe 10 months ago, I think. Uh, when uh, I kind of I was uh, redoing something upstairs and I kind of realized that I just want something that is going to charge my phone uh, before I go to sleep. I don't want uh, to charge my phone while I'm at sleep because it just uh, deteriorates the battery as much as I know. So that's why I went for this one and essentially you just whack the uh, Apple kind of lighting cable for example in here and then you charge the phone. Uh, from here so really kind of a useful thing to have if you want to charge your devices a bit faster or also if you have multiple devices for example as well you can charge uh, the iPad on here you can charge the phone you can charge uh, several phones if you have or whatever you use uh, you can charge them on this USB so it's pretty uh, a cool thing to have and I just find them a bit better than the wireless charger because I have uh, a wireless charger or I actually tried the wireless charger in the past but I didn't find that as good because it's just too slow. So I just like to charge my phone like in an hour or like just about the hour and then it's kind of fully charged rather than like for several hours where I can't be uh, using the phone for example. So yeah, that's my kind of little charging hack if you want to call it this way. So th those are actually all the uh, items that I found on Amazon in the last year. I think that there is about 10 at least, I hope. I don't think that I missed anything. Uh, let me know what you like the most and let me know if you have any of the items uh, of these and or if you have any items that you like from Amazon and you want to let me know please uh, just uh, comment them below and I'll check them out because I'm always searching for different items as you've seen. I just like the little things that might improve your life even slightly so if you have any recommendation just let me know uh, down in the comments. Uh, hope that you enjoyed this video and if you haven't yet please please support my youtube channel and please subscribe i will see you next week